So I'm here to talk about a really serious problem that I have every morning when I get in the kitchen. I grab an egg, and when the egg that I'm trying to fry stick on my frying pan, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> and I think a lot of you agree that this is a serious issue that has to be addressed. And of course, of course, of course. Uh, a lot of my friends tell me, hey, did you know there was a non-stick flying pan, a Teflon frying pan, a new one. Uh, it's uh, on the market. You could buy one so that you, know, you could change the destiny of your egg. <laughs> of course, the destiny of my egg. But I know that as a material scientist, there's a problem here too. There's a problem because the Teflon coating that I used to create the non-stick surface gets easily ripped off when you scratch it. And there's another problem because the chemicals that I use to create the coatings are actually quite harmful for your body and for the environment. So we need another solution. I need another solution. So as a material scientist who really thinks seriously about his frying egg, <laughs> so I was thinking of you know, going into my list of chemicals and solve this solution. But I couldn't find one that worked. And it was by coincidence that I found my solution where I have the least accepted. In a Japanese traditional cast iron pot combined with oil. So a Japanese traditional iron pot that we call in Japan Nambu Tekki is created with a method that is over 300 years old. And this technique consists of simply casting an iron that has been melted into a mold made of sand. What is good with this technique is that it creates an oxide coating that is strong enough to uh, be robust against erosion, and that you can actually create this uh, into any kind of form uh, into, into a frying pan. So I have used this frying pan, and uh, I have tested how non-sticky it would be. And so is, uh, this is a video that shows it. So on my right is a normal stainless frying pan with oil, and uh, on my left is a traditional cast iron uh, frying pan. So you can see that you know, with the stainless one, the egg is sticking. This is not good. But for the traditional cast iron, it works. And so the result is quite uh, huge. <laughs> yes, as you can see. And uh, this affects your morning uh, you know, uh, attention and morning uh, tension. So uh, you have to think about that really seriously. So let's go into the mechanism. So for a normal, uh, for a normal stainless iron pan, um, or stainless uh, pan, what happens is when you apply oil on that surface, the oil would wet the surface. And this is the oil that would be really important if you want to create a surface that does not stick. However, the oil layer on that surface can easily be removed by the water that are contained in the food. So this is uh, just an example. So the, food, the water that comes out of the uh, food would uh, remove the oil layer, and because water can easily be evaporated, the food will uh, get into contact with the stainless surface. It will cause the food to burn and to stick. And this is really different uh, in the case of the traditional iron pan, because the traditional uh, iron uh, surface contains a, a lot of carbon, which is uh, chemical that goes really well in, with oil, and it has microstructure. And those aspects of the uh, cast iron rich in carbon would help contain the oil on the surface, even though the water comes out of the food. And eventually, no sticking. So this is one example of a technology, a material that has been invented 300 years ago, solving my morning problem. And uh, we often see traditional things as something beautiful, 
something uh, with beautiful story, but not really useful. But that is a big mistake. This is one example. The other example is that we have in Japan origami, which is a traditional folding techniques. And it has inspired the space um, scientists to create a solar panel that can fold and unfold in several seconds. So my message is that we often think of traditional craft or tra traditional things as merely just beautiful thing, but we are making a big mistake. Traditional crafts are full of wisdom. A traditional craft can inspire us to think of new technology that can shape our future. Thank you very much.